So to understand why the Civil War was a sensory revolution, you have to understand the sensory world of the pre-Civil War era. And while that's a very broad subject, it seems to me that antebellum Americans labored under the belief that they had begun to master the sensory world. They believed that seeing was believing. They believed that they could control soundscapes to some extent through noise ordinances, through architecture. They believed that they were starting to control smell through increased personal hygiene, through rudimentary sewer systems. There were protocols of touch, who could touch whom and where and, and why. Um, there was a belief that, um, and some evidence to suggest that they, they had greater control over their diets than ever before. And the war served to reverse all of that. The war was an atavism that exposed the, the hollowness of that conceit and threw them back into a past that showed that they really did not have the control that they believed they had. So if you look at menus, if you look at diets, if you look at the food availability in Vicksburg in 1860, and then you compare food availability in 1865, you have a devolution of taste. People ate well, at least white people ate well in 1860. Vicksburg undermined that taste where once they could choose from a wide variety of foods, delicacies, that reflected their, their, not just their aesthetic but their social standing, by the end of that siege they were eating anything they could get their hands on. 